After Walter Bergen's wife died, he was very sad. He was lonely. He didn't care about anything. He didn't clean his house. He didn't cook meals. He ate TV dinners and toast. He didn't wash his clothes. He didn't shave or go to the hairdresser. His daughter, Melanie, was very worried about him. She drove to his house and said, Dad, this is no good. You can't stay here. Come and live in our house. I don't want to live in your house, said Walter. I am okay. Go away. Melanie was worried, but her father was very angry, so she went away. One day, a few weeks later, Walter walked to the supermarket. He bought TV dinners and bread. He walked out of the supermarket. He walked across the road. He didn't look to the left or the right. A car hit him. The ambulance came and took him to the hospital. Melanie came to the hospital. Dad, she shouted, you will not live alone. You will come to our house. Walter went to Melanie's house. Melanie's husband's name was Roger. He was not happy. Your father is dirty. He is always angry. Why is he living in our house? He is my father, said Melanie. He is old. He is unhappy. He must stay here. I understand, said Roger. Melanie and Roger's daughter was called Rosa. She was nine years old. One night, while they were eating dinner, Melanie said, Tomorrow, Rosa's school has Grandparents' Day. What is Grandparents' Day? asked Walter. The children's grandparents go to the school. They see what the children do at school. The children sing, and the grandparents play games with them. It is very nice, said Melanie. I am Rosa's grandfather, said Walter. I will go to Grandparents' Day. Rosa jumped up. She ran away from the table. She went to her bedroom. Later, Walter was going to bed. He walked past Rosa's bedroom. She was crying. Walter heard Roger's voice. Rosa, he said, stop crying. No, shouted Rosa. My grandfather is dirty. He smells bad. He doesn't clean his clothes. He is always angry. I don't want him to come to my school. The other children will laugh at me. Rosa, said Roger. Many children have no grandparents. You are lucky. You have a grandfather. If Walter wants to come to your school, it is a good thing. Walter went to his bedroom. The next morning, Rosa did not want to go to school. My grandfather is not nice. I don't want him to come to my school. You will go to school, said Melanie. The grandparents came to Rosa's school at 1 p.m. The students went to the school hall. All the children ran to find their grandparents. Rosa waited by the door. She looked all around the school hall, but she couldn't see her grandfather. Where is he? she thought. Maybe he didn't come. There was one man who was alone. He was wearing a suit and tie. His shoes were very shiny. He looked very smart. I wish that man was my grandfather, thought Rosa. He looks like a nice man. The man turned towards Rosa. Rosa! he shouted. Rosa could not believe it. It was her grandfather, but he looked like a new man. Rosa ran to Walter and hugged him. I'm pleased I heard Rosa talking to her father last night, thought Walter. It made me feel bad when I heard what Rosa said, but I understand. I will be a better person in the future. Molly lives in a small house in a quiet street. She bought her house 20 years ago when it was new. Jim and Iris Watterson bought the house next to Molly's at the same time. They were good friends and good neighbors for 20 years, but now the Watterson's townhouse was empty. Jim and Iris have moved to Florida to live near their daughter and grandchildren. I hope my new neighbors are as nice as Jim and Iris, thought Molly. I will be very upset if some young people buy the house. They will be noisy. They might have children. They might have pets. A few days later, a moving truck parked outside the house next door. Molly stood at the window of her living room and watched. She saw sofas, armchairs, tables, chairs, and beds go into the house. She saw the moving men carry many boxes into the house. Then she saw a little bicycle. It was pink. A man carried it to the garden behind the house. Oh no, she thought. A child. Next, the man carried a red bicycle into the garden. It was bigger than the pink bicycle, but it was too small for an adult. Another child. Shouting. Screaming. I don't want to live next door to children. Molly looked at her watch. It was time to go to the community center. Every Friday, there was a concert at the community center. Gustav Baer played the piano. He played beautiful classical music. He was a very good pianist. When he was younger, he was very famous. He gave concerts all over the world. 
Now he was retired, but he still liked to play the piano. So he gave free concerts at hospitals and retirement homes and community centers. Molly put on her coat. She took her bag and went out of her house. She locked the door and hurried down the street. The men were still taking boxes and furniture out of the truck. I don't know if I will enjoy the concert today, thought Molly. I am so unhappy. I love my house. I love my quiet street. But now there will be noisy children. Everything will change. Molly was very surprised when she arrived at the community center. Gustav Bear was not there. Mr. Bear cannot come today, the manager of the community center said to everyone. He is too busy. He will come next week. Mr. Bear's friend has come. He plays the guitar and he sings. Please enjoy the concert. The concert was very nice, but Molly thought Mr. Bear's piano playing was better. After the concert, she went home. The trucks had gone and it was very quiet. Before Molly went to bed, she went outside to put some garbage in the garbage bin. It was very dark. There were lights on in the house next door. Molly could hear a piano. The music sounded beautiful. She walked over the fence and looked at the house next door. The lights were on in the house and she could see inside. I guess they have not had time to hang curtains yet, she thought. She could see many boxes on the floor of the living room. She could see a grand piano, but she could not see who was playing it. The next day, someone rang the doorbell, and Molly went to answer it. She was very surprised. Gustav Bear was there. Good morning, he said. I am your new neighbor. You, said Molly. I thought it was a family with children. I saw the bicycles, a pink one and a red one. Oh, said Mr. Bear. They are my grandchildren's bicycles. Sometimes they come to visit on Sundays. It is nice for them to have something to do at my house. If they have nothing to do, they get bored and very noisy. Most of the time, there will only be me living there. I'm sorry. It will be very quiet. I think maybe you like to have children and pets next door. Oh, no, no, said Molly. Please come in and have a cup of tea. I saw you have no curtains yet. Maybe I can help you. I want you to be happy in your new home.